welcome back to my kitchen. Hey, I have got to make some cookies. In fact, i got to make several batches because we've got vacation Bible school uh, next week and I need to make cookies for the kids and the adults both. So, I thought I'd start out with... Uh, <coughs> Oatmeal, cranberry, pecan chocolate chip cookies. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and they are, they're really good cookies. So I thought that'd be a good one for the adults. And it's it's got some healthy stuff in it too. And uh, also, I'm gonna probably make some, I'll probably make chocolate chip cookies for the kids or probably some sugar cookies because they won't make a mess with them, so that's probably best. So let's get started on the oatmeal cookies. And the first thing that I've got to do is I've got a half a cup of uh, hot water right here. And uh, in this bowl right here, I have got four cups of quick oats. And I'm going to pour half a cup of hot water in with these quick oats. And I'm just going to kind of stir it around. And I'm just going to let it sit for about five minutes. So I've done that first, so I'd have time for it to sit a little while. I'm just trying to get all the oats kind of moistened with that hot water. That's all you've got to do. And it, it just makes a better oatmeal cookie when you do it this way. Okay. I got that pretty good. Now, we need... In the mixer, we need a half a cup of uh, salt and butter, which is a stick. And in here, I've got uh, 12 tablespoons of uh, oil. And you want a neutral oil like canola oil or coconut oil or something like that. So that's what I'm using is canola oil because that's what I had. And I had coconut oil, but I just, I think I'm going to use the canola oil. So I've got 12 tablespoons, put that in there, and I've got two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm just going to mix that up real quick. I just want to kind of get it uh, mixed together. You don't want to turn on too high or you have it all over you. I love these cookies because I love uh, dried cranberries, but even, uh, let's say a dried camp, uh, excuse me, cranberry that is soaked in cherry juice. And you talk about good, it's really good, and I put them in cookies too. Okay, I got that mixed up pretty good. Now the next thing we need is, um, I've got a cup of uh, granulated sugar right here. And I'm just going to put that in the mixer. And I've got a half a cup of packed brown sugar. I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. You know, it's really, <laughs> it's really hot me turn your oven on, so... What I've done is, I've got a confection oven back here. I think y'all can see it. And it's a, a, a countertop confection oven. And during summertime, that's what I'm using. And it works really well, so. And it doesn't heat the house up. In fact, I'm probably going to put it, uh, I'm converting my back porch into an outdoor kitchen. Now, I have an outdoor kitchen, but it's, it's under the, shed out here. I'm kind of wanting it closer to where it's not so hard for me to get back and forth. I'm just going out the back door, so that's what I'm wanting to do. Okay, I've got the butter, the oil, vanilla, sugar, brown sugar mixed up in here. Now I need two eggs. Two fresh eggs. And I always break my eggs up in some kind of little bowl or something first, because you never know. And these look okay. So I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to mix that up. Cookies is one of my favorite things. Pie. Pie. Number one pie. Cookies. 
Okay. Oh, I just love everything. Today. <laughs> it don't matter. Okay. I got that stirred up. You don't want to stir it up too much. Now, I need two cups of flour. So I'm going to get my little measuring cup. And this is the sweetest little thing. Um, I like to go to flea markets. And I love these old-fashioned little teacups. And I bought this one. And it's exactly a cup because I measured it. And I just love using it instead of an old measuring cup. So anyways, if you're going to do something like that, always bring it home and make sure it's a level cup. So I'm going to put my flour in here. Two cups. And I need a teaspoon of baking soda. Is that a half or a teaspoon? It's a teaspoon. So a teaspoon of baking soda. And half a teaspoon of salt. And then you need, now this is up to you, this is optional. It calls for a tablespoon of cinnamon. And I use this uh, Ceylon cinnamon, and it's a lot stronger cinnamon than the imitation stuff you buy at the store. And I do like a little bit of cinnamon, but sometimes I think you can put too much. So I just put a half a tablespoon probably. Now if you like more cinnamon, that's fine. I just don't like a stout taste of cinnamon. I'm gonna stir that up just a little bit. And I'm gonna put my four cups of uh, oats in here. Now this is really gonna start getting thick, so I might have to put, oops, I have such a mess pot. I may have to put just a little bit of water in here. We just have to see. Because you don't want a dry cooking. I'm not talking together. Right now it's looking okay. I'm going to put a little bit more oats in here. And I'm telling you, I'm going to go around the other way. Because I'm dropping half of it. I never said I was a clean cook. That's for sure. And anybody that knows me well knows that I make a mess. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. So the oats are in there now. And it's starting to get really thick. I'm going to stir this down just a little bit and get it all down in there. And I've got to clean this up. I can't handle it. Okay. Now, I have got some, these are my favorite chocolate chips and uh, Ghirardelli. I think I said that right. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's my favorite ones. Now, you know, if you're able to, and these are a little bit higher, I just, I'm going to buy a good chocolate chip. I don't like those old imitation chocolate chips. And I'm going to put a whole bag. And these bags are 11.5 ounces. Not 12 ounces, but 11.5. They always got to cut you off just a little bit. We don't eat a lot of cereal, but when they started, and even the cake mixes, you don't get as much cake mix in a box. You don't get as much cereal in a box, but you're going to pay more for it. Kills me. 
these we've got an all-american made store and the stuff in there comes in by bulk and it comes out of Ohio where the Mennonites get a lot of their stuff and these are really good cranberries I mean I could sit here and just eat half this bag so I'm gonna put them in there and I'm gonna put probably about half a cup not quite a whole cut. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to push it down a little bit. These are so good. For some reason my lock's not locking. Okay, I don't want to overmix them. That was about a half a cup. You know what? I'm going to put another handful. And that's up to you how many you put in there. I'm going to save the rest of these because I'm going to eat those. So i got chocolate chips, cranberries, and I've got some walnuts right here. I'm just going to put me a handful of walnuts in there. Walnuts are good for you. Uh, I don't like black walnuts. i got to oxygen absorber in there. Uh, but I do like just the English walnuts. I think that's what they're called. So I'm going to put those in there. Now I'm going to try to mix this up. You don't want to over mix it. Just try to get mixed up. I might have to do it by hand. So. Just getting glory full there. As y'all know, I can get a bowl full. Okay. And that's all coming together. It looks good. It's the right texture. It's not thin. It's not going to run anywhere when it starts baking. I think it's going to be good. So I'm going to get the paddle off there. I'm going to show you what it looks like. You can see the batter. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get my mess cleaned up and then we'll put it on the... I use my baking stone when I make cookies because one thing it puts in my confection oven, but it bakes up really good cookies. The bottom gets brown, and uh, it just does a really good job. So that's what I'm using. But you can use whatever you want to. So anyways, I'm going to get this mess cleaned up, and then we'll be back. Now I don't have one of those fancy little scoops. I need to get one. As many cookies as I make, I really, and I think I used to have one. But I'm just going to do it like I've always done it. And I'm just going to get me a scoop. You don't want to get too much. And uh, I'm just going to lay it down here on my... Now, if you want big cookies, that's fine. I don't want to make these too big because I want, I want it to go pretty good ways. So I'm just going to get these out on, the, on my stone. And then uh, I'm going to put them in my 350 oven, confection oven, for about 10 minutes. And uh, then we'll get them out and uh, then we'll eat a cookie. How about that? A good hearty cookie. So good. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, guys. And if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up and share it. God bless everybody. The chicken's can whip that